Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video I've got two gameplays to show you using the RVN Assault Rifle. This is one of a few new weapons that's recently been added to Infinite Warfare in a patch. This is an Assault Rifle and that's the one I was most keen to try out. So we've got two gameplays, as I say the first one is on Skydock which you're watching now, and then the second one is on Retaliation. Now in the first gameplay in terms of attachments I'm using the Suppressor, uh, quick draw and foregrip. And then in the second video I'm only using quick draw and foregrip, no suppressor. Now I noticed something a bit interesting about the suppressor on this particular gun in terms of its stats and I'll cover that halfway through the video. So after this gameplay I'll show you some stuff about the suppressor which I found quite interesting. I never really noticed this before and I think there's something a little bit unique about this gun. But first of all, as you watch this game, I'll give you my thoughts on this gun so far. So the good thing about this gun is that anyone can get it. What you need to do to unlock it if you don't get it as part of the season pass, it comes free if you've got that. And it comes free if you want to earn it yourself and you don't have the season pass. And to do that, I believe you need to get 200 kills with an energy firing assault rifle. And it has to be an assault rifle that you've prestiged and then you need to put on one of the accessories to it. So, for example, I had the Type 2 maxed out but I hadn't prestiged it. So I leveled up that weapon and then you go into accessories and I got the dog tags as the first time I leveled up the weapon. And I equipped that and then you just need to play any of your modes and get 200 kills. Then you will unlock the RVM. So that's what you need to do it. Now, as for the weapon itself, it is an assault rifle as I said and the description says it's two round burst auto fire energy rifle and then you can hold down well, triangle on PlayStation which I'm playing on to split the rifle into melee mode for faster movement and one hit kills. So if you hold down triangle or the equivalent button on your console or PC then the gun splits up similar to the Type 2. Now, Let's get the negatives out of the way first of all. It then puts it into melee mode and it's sort of got like some energy about it. Sort of circulates around the, the two guns once it's split. So if you've got an enemy up close, you get an instant one hit kill using the melee option in this gun. Now, personally it does work effectively as a melee weapon, but I'm not too keen on that. I almost see it as a little bit of a gimmick. And it's led to, in my experience, I've been using this gun, uh, first time I've played this game since the patch came out and the gun's been added. I've been playing for about an hour and a half and I've seen so many people running around with this gun split into the, the melee mode trying to get melee kills. And that's what I find dangerous when they, they start adding weapons that's too crazy and two crazy melee weapons. I remember the same thing happening in Black Ops 3. Everyone was running around with swords and everything. Now there's nothing ridiculous looking about this but it just goes to show that once you do this sort of thing everyone's running around like crazy trying to get melee kills. So it works okay as a melee weapon. It's probably quite an effective melee weapon but I would have preferred if it just went into like a Kimbo guns or something like that. Other than that, what do I think of the actual gun when it's firing like a true assault rifle? I think it's pretty good. I mean, the easiest way to describe it is it's not overpowered, it's not underpowered, it's just a pretty solid assault rifle, to be honest. I personally found it performed better with a grip, although in terms of its stats, you would think it's quite accurate. The stats are 83 accuracy, 65 damage, 95 range, that's pretty high, fire rate 75 and mobility 65. It's two round burst but fires quite quickly and I find in a fast paced game like Infinite Warfare if people are jumping around or come round corners quickly they're moving very rapidly and although this gun fires quick it's very hard to get your two bursts on target trying to kill people. So I still think like normal assault rifles which have got a more consistent fire rate will perform better in Infinite Warfare than this actual gun will. But you'll see me here, there we go, that's the melee weapon. So there are times you can switch to it and be quite effective, but I just think it leads to some people trying to run around the whole game and get melee kills, which is a bit unusual. Now it comes with its own sight and you can see me using that in the gameplay and it gives quite a clear area to look through. 
but I actually find like the border of the site around the edge is a little bit thick and it can obscure your vision a little bit but I'm not sure it's worth spending a point on your setup on but I think it would probably be better with something like an ELO site just to free up your vision and uh, get rid of those thick borders around the edges but the gun is pretty solid I wouldn't say I'm going to rush out and try using it in every gameplay that I want to do well in and I think at close range obviously burst fire weapons I'll throw this one first quite quick they're a bit difficult to to kill the enemy with at times just the fast movement speed sometimes beats you in the end but now that's the end of that gameplay let's have a look at the suppressor so here we have got the Type 2 and as you see if I equip a suppressor in this one I'm reducing the range by 5 and that's what happens in all the assault rifles but if we look at the RVN and I put on suppressor it's doing something very interesting it's not affecting the range it's doing minus 3 to the damage. Now I noticed that instantly and I thought that's a bit strange because normally when I apply a suppressor to my assault rifles I'm reducing the range not the damage and it just basically means the guns once they get to a certain range they're going to take an extra bullet to kill or something along those lines but this one's actually doing the damage. So I had a look through the other guns and I found this quite interesting but I didn't find a lot of guns that when you put on a suppressor are actually reducing it by 3 damage. Nearly every gun in the game affects the range. So this is the only assault rifle which when you put on a suppressor affects the damage. I then had to go on through the SMGs. I couldn't find anything in there. We're talking the base variants here. I'm not like one of the special variants you get in a supply drop or anything. I'm just talking about the, the standard version of each gun. No SMGs had this characteristic. Then when I went into LMGs, I found one there and it is the Mauler. So when you put the suppressor on the Mauler, you reduce three damage, but nothing to the range. Then I had to go into uh, sniper rifles and I found three there, which do the same thing. So you've got the KBS Longbow, the EBR 800 and the Widowmaker. So when you put the suppressor on those, again, the damage is reduced by three, but nothing to the range. Then if you go down to the last sniper rifle, the DMR1, it doesn't display that same characteristic. It just gets the usual range reduction. And if you go into the classic weapon section, there's another sniper rifle there. I checked it. And again, it only reduces it by minus five range. It doesn't affect the damage. I also checked all the other classic weapons. And again, they just get a range reduction. There's nothing to the damage. So. I found this a bit interesting, so to summarise that we've got the RVN, the new weapon, you put on the suppressor, nothing is affected to range, it says minus 3 damage, you get the same on the Mauler and then you get the same on 3 sniper rifles and I went through every gun, the base versions, I didn't actually go through pistols but like the main primary weapons and I could only find this characteristic on the guns I've just covered so I find that a bit unusual. Now. Having played a lot of Call of Duty throughout the years, I know not to put too much faith into the stats that you can actually see when you're setting up your class. Sometimes those stats can say very strange things, but just just because this is an assault rifle and having run suppressor and all the assault rifles and tried things out, I was very interested to see this characteristic. Whether or not it actually means anything or whether it's just figures on the screen, who knows, we'll maybe need to see if anyone can unlock the game code and have a real look at what this gun's doing but I just found that an interesting start but I hope you enjoy the rest of this gameplay as I say the gun's pretty good quite a solid gun um, I don't think burst fire weapons are really the best in infinite warfare if you've got really rapid firing uh, rapid moving enemies so it's very hard to sometimes get all your burst registering and if you've got connection issues I think it can really show up but if you're accurate and you can manage to control the gun and keep your aim and target then it will do well it seems to kill quite quickly it fires quite quickly as well but it's not going to become the favorite assault rifle in the game I don't think I don't think it's going to replace all those people using NV4s and the K-bar and so on 
But that's it from me, I hope you enjoy the rest of this gameplay and let me know your thoughts on this weapon in the comment section and if you've got any theories on the suppressor stat I'd be interested to read those as well. As always thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video.